pictures. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small that makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The spare part. Hey, what's going on? It was just working. Hi there, Tom Thomas. Simka Nolik. Look, I've got a Sorry, problem. Sorry, no time to play. We're busy. Busy? With what? We got put in charge here for the day. We even get to use one of the Pacamats. Papus and Masia went out to visit our fixie friends. Papus used to be with them at the Space Center years ago. Ever since he was a boy, Papus dreamed of going into space. Then why not? Fixies work on rockets, too. He even got a job at the Astronaut Training Center. He was put in charge of the centrifuge, and he made sure it worked perfectly. The centrifuge is a sort of very fast carousel for training astronauts. And Papus trained inside of it, too. Unfortunately, Papus never knew the rocket was scheduled to fly on his day off. And when he found out, it was too late, and the rocket blasted off without him. Since then, Papus hates his days off, but he still longs to fix something like that centrifuge. You know, something turning around like a washing machine. Too bad for Papus that the one in his house seems to keep working perfectly fine. So that means today you fix everything? Uh-huh. Well then, it's your lucky day, because my car just broke down. Hooray! We've got work to do. Nolik, let's go! Well, what broke down here? Wait a sec. Here, this part broke down. It's all covered in black. I wonder where we can get the same part, but a clean one. A clean one? Hmm. <gasps> No, like, genius! There's the same exact part inside the dishwasher. We can take it from there. Come on! Do you have any idea how all these parts are connected to one another? With this thing right under you. It's a special part called a circuit board. A circuit board's made like this. First, the board gets covered with a thin layer of metal. Then, paths are laid onto the board where the electricity is going to flow. After that, all of the extra metal is washed off of it with a special cleaning liquid, leaving the metal paths that were drawn on the board. These paths work just like wires to connect the parts on the board to each other. And then all that's left to do is attach those parts to their places on the paths. Pull it! Uh, uh, Tadish! Tom Thomas! Tadish! Hooray! It works again! Tom Thomas, I'm about to start the dishwasher. Are there any dirty dishes in your room? Nah. Slow down! Slow what down? Slow down your mom. We took the new part out of the dishwasher, see? Mom, wait, don't start it. You need to put, put, yeah, put in this one uh, dirty cup. No, look, follow me. Inside the TV's the same part. Now back to the dishwasher. <sighs> We barely made it. We grabbed the part from the TV in the living room. Not the TV. Uh, my mom's favorite program is about to start. <gasps> ah! <sighs> the television is working now. And where'd you get the part for it? From your dad's computer in his office. Hi, everybody. I'm home. Hi, hon. Are you ready for dinner? In a bit. I've got to finish a little work on the computer. Simka, hurry! Where else can we find that part? Stop. That's enough running. Here. 
Take it back from the car. And then we put the part back into the computer and it started working again. Oh, that was really silly. Remember, you little experts, never repair any device at the cost of another one. I understand now. And I understand. If you were smart, you could have taken the part out of the old radio in the closet. Papus, but you know the radio wouldn't work then. That old thing hasn't been working for years. Masia and I have pulled out half those parts already. I almost caught one yesterday. I chased him by the flood. But if I told my daddy, he'd say, It's, it's all inside, inside your head. head. You really cannot catch them. Or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixer, please don't let their secret out. Almost over. Tom Thomas's team is leading to nothing. There's no getting around the difference in class. Simka, pass to me. <laughs> Simka, over here. Nothing. And that's the end of the period. Time for the teams to take a break. This isn't a fair game. There's six of these guys and only two of us. Uh. Go ahead and call your classmates. I'll still outscore you. You sure about that? Uh huh. Well, Tom Thomas, you asked for it. Young Fixies take classes and study just like human kids. But Fixie schools are quite a bit different than schools for people. To begin with, there are no more than ten students in a room. In Simka's class, for instance, there are six, and the children don't study in one place. On one day, the lesson could be inside a refrigerator, the next day in a computer, and the day after that in a vacuum cleaner. This is the best way for Fixies to learn all about them and put their new knowledge to the test. But the most important thing is that they have to learn to work as a team and help each other. Stronger Fixies helping weaker ones, and older Fixies helping younger ones. This is a must for Fixies, because appliances are so very big that if we didn't work as a team, we little Fixies could never get by. As the second period is about to begin, our full team comes to the ice! Huh? Introducing the engine of our class, my motor's roaring! And now the brains of our class, Digit! Okay, what's the score? Now here is the spirit of our class, Tula! Could I be our goalie? <laughs> and here she is, the face of our class, Verda! And oh, what a cute one. So you want to quit, Tom Thomas? I'm not afraid of you. I'm calculating the angle to use. Oh! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Pass it quick! Ugh. Quit sleeping! If you're gonna scream at me, I'm not going to play at all. Wow, that's some team you got there. <laughs> ah! Six nothing! Oh. It's a blowout! Now the intermission before the final period. We're missing something here. I can tell you what. You mean confidence? Uh, calculations? Elegance? I know, speed. What's missing here's teamwork. Simka, you're right. It's one for all and all for one. And here's what we're gonna do. We got it. Check, don't lose control. A line change on the fly. The puck is zooming towards the goal to score and break the tie. It's one for all and all for one. Great teamwork is a must. Let's go and show them how it's done. This game was made for us. Hockey's our game. Hockey.
I get creamed like that? Because you're by yourself here, and we are a team! Team! team.